Thank you very much for having me here. First of all, it took me two days to get here, and I thought I'm coming to a place that is poor, a few uh, small houses and gardens, and I have to pick the flowers. But as I come here, I see a fully-fledged government center. Basically, you could take over Iran in a day and start from day one. What we see here today, ladies and gentlemen, is that diplomatic immunity is being used as a shelter for terrorism. Belgium has agreed to exchange the terrorist uh, in return for a Belgian tourist who probably photographed the wrong tree. And he has been arrested in Iran. Well, this is unacceptable and we have to stop this. And I have to say there were many demonstrations outside of the Belgian parliament and your friend in Belgium is Theo Franken of the NVA. He was there every day and he has been very active for you to prevent this exchange from happening. A terrorist belongs in jail and a tourist has to travel. That's how it has to be and that's how we have to make it. <laughs> Fortunately, ladies and gentlemen, Sweden and perhaps not so much the Swedish government but at least the Swedish court has understood, has understood the message with Mr. Hamid Nouri, who is now, now sentenced to long life imprisonment, and that's the sentence that suits him best. And here we establish a principle of international law and prevent diplomatic immunity from being used for acts of terrorism. Ladies and gentlemen, let me say the last words to you, and in Iranian they say the, the, the person who speaks last has done the job, uh, and you have done the job. But, uh, because what I see here in, uh, in this uh, Ashraf 3 is really amazing. It is a big achievement of yours, what you do. What you do here, you will do in Iran, and you will liberate Iran, and therefore I say to all of you, Khoda Hafez Dustan.